He re-enters Cape Town on the N2. He has been away less than three months. Yet in that time, the shanty settlements have crossed the highway and spread east of the airport. The stream of cars has to slow down while a child with a stick herds a stray cow off the road. Inexorably, he thinks, the country is coming to the city. Soon there will be cattle again on Rondebosch Common. Soon history will have come full circle. So he is home again. It does not feel like a homecoming. He cannot imagine taking up residence once more in the house on the Torrance Road, in the shadow of the university, skulking about like a criminal, dodging old colleagues. He will have to sell the house, move to a flat somewhere cheaper. His finances are in chaos. He has not paid a pill since he left. He is living on credit. Any day now, his credit is going to dry up. The end of roaming. What comes after the end of roaming? He sees himself, white-haired, stooped, shuffling to the corner shop to buy his half liter of milk and half loaf of bread. He sees himself sitting blankly at the desk in a room full of yellowing papers, waiting for the afternoon to peter out so that he can cook his evening meal and go to bed. The life of a superannuated scholar without hope, without prospect. Is that what he is prepared to settle for? He unlocks the front gate. The garden is overgrown. The mailbox stuffed tight with flyers at advertisements. Though well fortified by most standards, the house has stood empty for months, too much to hope for that it will not have been visited. And indeed, from the moment he opens the front door and smells the air, he knows there is something wrong. His heart begins to thud with a sick excitement. There is no sound. Whoever was here is gone. But how did they get in? Tiptoeing from room to room, he soon finds out. The bars over one of the back windows have been torn out of the wall and folded back. The window panes smashed, leaving enough of a hole for a child or even a small man to climb through. A mat of leaves and sand, blown in by the wind, has caked on the floor. He wanders through the house, taking a census of his losses. His bedroom has been ransacked, the cupboards yawn bare. His sound equipment is gone, his tapes and records, his computer equipment. In his study, the desk and filing cabinet have been broken open. Papers are scattered everywhere. The kitchen has been thoroughly stripped, cutlery, crockery, smaller appliances. His liquor store is gone. Even the cupboard that had held canned food is empty. A no ordinary burglary, a raiding party movi moving in, cleaning out the site, retreating laden, with bags, boxes, suitcases, booty, war reparations, another incident in the great, cam great campaign of redistribution. Who is at the moment wearing his shoes? Have Beethoven and Janacek found homes for themselves or have they been tossed out on the rubbish heap? From, from the bathroom comes a bad smell. A pigeon trapped in the house has expired in the basin. Gingerly, he lifts the mess of bones and feathers into a plastic bag, packet, and ties it shut. The lights are cut off, the telephone is dead. Unless he does something about it, he will spend the night in the dark. But he is too depressed to act. Let it all go to hell, he thinks, and sinks into a chair and closes his eyes. As the dusk settles, he rouses himself and leaves the house. The first stars are out. Through empty streets, through gardens heavy with the scent of verbe verbena and jonquil, he makes his way to the university campus. He still has his keys to the communications building. A good hour to come haunting. The corridors are deserted. He takes the lift to his office on the fifth floor. The name tag on his door has been removed. Dr. S. Otto reads the new tag. From under the door comes a faint light. He knocks, no sound. He unlocks the door and enters. The room has been transformed. His books and pictures are gone, leaving the walls bare save, save for a poster-sized blow-up of a comic book panel. Superman hanging his head as he is berated by Louis Lane. Thank you. 